Hi everyone, this is Kristen O'Leary from RueRascal.com coming to you as part of Her.ie's In Her Own Words podcast. I am about to read an extract from my blog entitled One Wish at a Time. Reading it now, it's totally retrospective. It was back in May when I was finishing chemo, which was the inspiration for the piece. Wishing. We do it often and early. It's such a passive thing. You're in a furniture store and you wish you could buy the memory foam mattress that would set you back about a month's salary. You scroll through your newsfeed on Facebook and Instagram and covet the fashion bloggers free merchandise or their impossibly slender frame. When our wishes come true, we don't even bask in it. We're already on to wishing for the next inanimate object we feel will complete us. I've been wishing for months now that I will get the results that I want. The results that will enable me to get on with my life so that perhaps I can buy the memory foam mattress or have the energy to work out and get that impossibly slender frame. One can dream. On Thursday, I will begin round 10 of chemotherapy and pending a blood test, it could be my last. As excited as I am to be able to write that, I am also reluctant to put it on the calendar for fear that I'll jinx myself and in turn end right back at square one. If that happens, I have relayed to Dr. Connor to pencil me in for a quickie surgery. It would be a womb versus wig scenario at that point and I would prefer to be missing a part of me on the inside than look unhealthy on the out. It may sound flippant, but I've given it a gross amount of thought and evaluation. The ability to have children and the ability to buy your eyelashes are both quite synonymous with womanhood. So when one is faced with the choice, which way do you go? It makes me wonder if I get my wish, will I be able to enjoy it? Or will I just go on to wishing for the next thing? For it not to come back? My oncologist says, when you are cleared, you go through 12 months of tests, where it's imperative you do not become pregnant. These tests are to monitor your HCG levels, and there is a 2% chance of reoccurrence. Which seems like nothing, right? But when, for the past 8 months, you have been that 1%, it's hard to have faith this time will be any different. But as Effie Trinket would preach, may the odds be ever in your favour.